guys hope you're doing good it is almost one o'clock and i woke up at 11. there's a bird on my roof my garage roof it's cute you want to see i like coming out here and just watching nature but if the birds are like annoying you out here just let me know um my kids are usually pretty loud in the morning playing and I figured this is the birds chirping are better than hearing them and I want to be able to vlog my journey every day so I lost over three pounds overnight that's crazy but I'm pretty sure it's this water weight I mean day two I discovered the hundred weigh-ins in hundred days last night when I was looking for other youtubers that were on a weight loss journey and uh, I found a couple people that I can kind of relate to one person left a comment on my last video, so make sure you go check out her channel. I can't remember the name of her right now, but um, I'll try to message the labels. I'm getting attacked by nature, <laughs> but I love nature. I think that was like a, I don't know what that was, maybe a carpenter bee? I don't know. So yeah, I'm having my morning coffee to break my fast at one o'clock. I was gonna do OMAD today, but then I decided to just do intermittent fasting. So once I take a sip of this coffee, I'm only gonna have eight hours to eat. I have my whole day planned out actually. I'm gonna have a homemade fish filet sandwich, so tartar sauce from Kraft, Van Kemp's uh, like a fish tender filet, and then Lewis's Healthy Choice hamburger buns. And then I'm going to have a like, I guess, I guess it's like a McDonald's recreation, right? Cause I'm gonna have a, like a McChicken type of thing. I'm gonna have Farmers, Farmers, I forgot the name of the company. It's like Foster Farms, chicken patty, a little bit of mayonnaise, a hamburger bun from Lewis again, and some pickles. Um, so that's how I like my chicken sandwiches, pickles and mayonnaise. And I'm not gonna, I don't put like a ton of mayonnaise, but I do like mayonnaise. Um, yesterday I had a big salad, so I don't know if I'm gonna have much veggies today. I'm gonna have a yogurt. I forgot what else I decided I was gonna have. My whole day is planned. I was gonna drink a kombucha yesterday, but then I didn't. So I brought it back in the house and put it back in the fridge. And I ended up having a Hot Pocket yesterday and it was totally within my calories. And I punched everything in, but I forgot to tell you guys, I also had a Hot Pocket. I ate that right before we left for Toy Story because I realized, you know what? I still have a Hot Pocket that I forgot to eat. So I had a steak and cheddar Hot Pocket. You can always see my fitness pal if you want to see exactly what I ate. Because sometimes, you know, you finish a video and then you realize, you know, you're still hungry. My fitness pal is always 100% accurate um, when I enter my stuff and I complete my diary. So, but I'm always... I always, yesterday I had to end the vlog early because we had somewhere to go, but I'm gonna try to, you know, vlog to the very last second and then edit late at night. What else am I gonna have today? I totally, just let me look at my fitness pal and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So I plan on making a strawberry cupcakes with my kids. I'm gonna have one cupcake. Does anybody know how to like measure that? I don't even know. I'm gonna have one cupcake. I found it on my fitness pal. I'm gonna guesstimate that it's about 200 calories for one cupcake. The frosting's easy because it says two tablespoons. So I'm gonna have one cupcake, two tablespoons of frosting. I'm gonna put cheese on the fish filet, Land O'Lakes. So there's not much planned for today. Tomorrow we have to go to a dentist appointment really early in the morning. So we're gonna be out and about probably all day. So I'm just kind of taking a chill pill today. It's gonna be almost 90 degrees today, which if you're a Chicagoan, it's like 200 degrees. <laughs> It's just, and it's kind of, you know, it went from like being 60 to like 90. It's like my body hasn't had time to adjust. I'm just, no. I'll be out on my porch for a little while and then I'm probably going to go inside. Ooh. Uh, my hubby officially gets promoted tomorrow. He's been in training at his work for the longest time. He's been at the same company for so, so, so long, but he got a new position. So I'm so grateful for that. So yeah, I guess this is my cue to end the vlog because somebody took out their weed whacker. So I'm gonna check in with you guys around lunch, breakfast, 
I don't think I'm having breakfast today. This is my breakfast. <laughs> I'll check in you guys soon. I'm going to make something. Hey guys, so it's almost two o'clock. I am cooking up my fish filet and my chicken patty in the air fryer. This is my air fryer. Let's take a peek inside. I have two fish fillets and a Foster Farms chicken patty. And then I always turn my air fryer this way so that the air shoots out. So just be careful if you have an air fryer, you're gonna get an air fryer, make sure it's always blowing away. Cause I have heard of carrots melting. Um, what is this, birthday cards? Thank you cards. I gotta put these bananas in the freezer. I've been trying to clean up the kitchen and whatnot. It's 87 degrees outside today. It feels like over 90, so it's a good day to clean the house. I was gonna do the cupcakes, but then I decided not to because it's too hot to bake. I might do it later when like it gets, you know, the sun goes down and like have them for tomorrow. But yeah, so I'll have to figure out what else I'm gonna eat. So you can get a visual. This is the Van Kemp's fish fillets. It's 210 calories for two. And then these are the chicken patties. I was gonna have one of these, but when I saw how small they were for the bun, I was like, I need to get make two of those. Let me get better lighting. So I got this from Amazon, I can link it below. I really love it if you're a vlogger as well. Um, it really does help. Let's see if we can make this better. See? So the shadows are a little better. So I love it. You just plug it in and charge it. There's no batteries or anything. I actually want to get a couple more because I lose this one sometimes. Um, what else can I show you guys? Oh, the hamburger buns. What do I do with them? Oh, they're under here. So this is Lewis. This is the brand Lewis. I even, we've been buying this for hot dog buns, bread, everything. We really like it. It's low in carbs. Uh, my husband's diabetic, so we have to watch that when it comes to bread, but he does like to have sandwiches. So they also have a sugar-free bread too. We haven't tried that one ironically yet but it's just the best I've found of all the breads. Usually buy the sourdough one or the wheat one. Here's the whole wheat one. This is actually the one my hubby uses. It is seven net carbs, seven carbs per slice. So 12 carbs, it says, per two slices. Still really good. So if you wanted to use your seven carbs for this and have some peanut butter toast or avocado toast, not that bad, but I'm, I don't watch carbs. I eat whatever I want. I just watch calories. Calories, calories, calories. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna check back in with you guys when it's all ready to go. I got a cold water here. I actually froze it in the freezer and now I'm drinking it. I love cold water. Check on these babies. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these fish. Usually you just gotta shake stuff in the air fryer. Um, just to make sure that it gets crispy. Then like the skin doesn't like break off. It seems like it wants to do. There we go. But usually I'll just, like if it was just a chicken patty, I would have just shaken it. I don't even know if it matters. So this is what it looks like all done. Oh my gosh, that looks better than a restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So we got my fish filet here. And then this is so weird. It looks like there's two bottom buns. <laughs> I just flipped it. But like, I didn't mess up. So that's strange. <laughs> it is what it is. It's too hot to be out here. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go inside. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can deal with my kids being kids. All right, so I'm having a fish filet sandwich and a, and a double bottom bun chicken sandwich. <laughs> that is so weird. I wish I could find a way to make this spicy. 
so it like, tastes like McDonald's spicy sandwich. Mm. Right. I'm gonna try this one and let you go. Mm. Yeah, that burnt the other day. Wow. <laughs> it tastes like McDonald's. I mean, better actually. Wow. Make one of those for my hubby later. He's gonna love that. Hey guys, so I'm making dinner right now. I made myself a baked potato. I made hamburger helper for the kiddos. I'm gonna have half a cup. I entered it into my fitness pal. I did 259 calories of exercise. So if I wanted to, I still have 336 calories left from burning those calories, but I don't wanna eat my calories back when I work out. Like I just wanna leave them there. So I really just have 77 calories left for the day, but I'm pretty sure I'm done. I have a baked potato here. I'm gonna put some butter on it. And I just washed my face, so um, my shirt's a little wet. Uh, broccoli is in here. It fell over. Let's see if I can pick it up. All right, um, I'm going to have a kombucha. I'm gonna have a kombucha. Yesterday I said I was gonna have it and I didn't. I'm gonna have it today. Let's see if it's a good one. If it fizzes, it's good. This is a really good one. Yay. If it's flat, it just doesn't taste as good. I got broccoli in the microwave, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's all together. All right, so this is the broccoli. I'm gonna do about a cup. I have just been eyeballing everything. I think if I get into a situation where the scale is going up, like I'll start weighing, but it's just, I don't know, weighing stuff stresses me out if that makes any sense. So, and that looks like about a cup of broccoli, right? If you do it like that. So I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. I won't eyeball the hamburger helper, like that I don't want to risk. So I do just get a measuring cup out of the, the drawer and just measure half a cup because at least I'm not weighing it. All right, so I just measure out half a cup it go a little bit over, but I mean, if you smush it down, it's pretty close. <laughs> Considering I have 77 calories left and then I worked out and then I have you know, 336 left with the calories working out, I'm not gonna stress out too much about it being a tiny bit over the top. All right, so I'm gonna put some butter, which I already counted for on top of my broccoli. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Himalayan salt and some garlic powder and some onion powder on my baked potato. God, I wish my bird would shut her mouth. All right, so I gotta make my son something to drink. And then I can go ahead and grub. It's gonna be so hot again tomorrow. When we, when we have to go to the dentist, it's gonna be 76. So we have to walk. So I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like. I have $12 still payday. I wanted to pack like a picnic or something, but I don't know if I want to lug, lug all that around. I guess I could bring a stroller. Just don't know where I'm gonna put a stroller in a dentist's office and just like leave it with no one watching. Harvey, your chocolate milk's ready. This is what uh, Harvey likes to drink, Ovaltine. All right, so this is basically what it looks like. Got some hamburger helper here, baked potato, some broccoli, and then I have a Yoplait strawberry. If you guys wanna see everything I ate today, word for word, in the description box is my Fitness Pal Diary. You don't have to be a member of my Fitness Pal. Just click on it, it'll take you exactly to today and show you exactly what I ate, calories and everything. My diary is completed, I am done for the day. 
Um, and then you can click the button to see like what I ate yesterday and stuff like that. Like you can go back and forth. I have the cupcakes under tomorrow because I'm going to try to make them tonight, but if not, then I'll remove those. This isn't my favorite kombucha, the watermelon one. I love watermelon, but watermelon juice, I don't know. My favorite kombucha is GTS's Trilogy. That one is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna save half of this for later. I still have two and a half hours to eat and drink calories. And I'm gonna save this too, actually. But I will eat that before the day is over. And I gotta find my garlic powder and my onion powder and my pepper. Oh my god, I feel like I'm such a mess right now. I need to organize. What is happening? I just used it the other day. Is it way back here? No. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it is. Garlic powder, Mario. I need to tie these. Hey, Siri, where's my garlic powder? <laughs> oh, okay, I found it. <laughs> I wish Zuri could find everything. Yeah. All right, garlic powder. How's your hamburger helper, bud? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No one's ever seen you on this channel yet, except for Natalie and Christy, and anybody that came over from my other channel. This is Harvey. Oop. <laughs> he just turned five. All right, go eat your num nums. My birthday. My birthday. Yeah, your birthday the other day. All right, go eat your num nums and be a good boy. I'll be in there in a minute. Daddy's gonna be home any minute too. Like any minute, unless traffic's bad. Okay. Oh my God, so good. Mmm. I haven't had Hamburger Helper in like six months. Even just having a little bit. Mmm. I think calories and doing intermittent fasting and OMAD just like works so much better for me because there's no limitations. You just watch your calories. I do try to make sure I get vegetables every day, but some days I don't. With all these vegetable recalls, it's like, whoa, is it safe to even eat vegetables? <laughs> Am I gonna die? All right, well, I'm gonna eat this yummy food. Um, thank you so much for following my journey. If you have a vlog and you are on a weight loss journey, feel free to comment below and let me know, I'll check it out. And if you know anybody out there that might like my channel and they're trying to lose weight, please direct them here. I would love to all the support I could get. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm doing the 100 day of weigh-in, so I'll be weighing in again tomorrow. Bye.